What's up, y'all? It's Mama Twin here, aka Feeling Real Wretched, Real Mama ish. Okay. Um, welcome back, my 20s. Okay. Um, I just came here quick to show y'all what I'm cooking. I've already actually started, and I was just like, oh my god, maybe I should make a video. Bitch. All right. Anyway, so we are in the kitchen, and um, sorry if this looks a little shifty. Don't mind it, okay? I'm just throwing this little video in here, just making a little quick little video. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I'm making, okay? Cause boy, I look real mama ish and real tired. Look at these bags. Oh my god. Anyway, don't mind my click, 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 click. Don't mind my deep voice because my voice just is just everywhere, okay? Um, second. Um, y'all like my hair? Like my hair. Okay, anyway, all right, so what are we cooking? All right, so we cooking chops and we're cooking kale, peppers, and onions. So the kale and pepper onions, right? The kale, the peppers, and the onions are all in one bowl and they're gonna be a curry, okay? It's a curry kind of dish here, okay? This curry ain't like no regular curry, okay? I make my curry the way I wanna make my curry. Y'all make y'all curry to make it the way I may wanna make y'all curry, but this is the way I make it, okay? I'm not gonna tell y'all what to put in there. I'm not gonna tell y'all none of that shit. I'm just gonna show y'all how I cook it, okay? Um, I kind of already started, so let's go over here to the other side while it's cooking. Okay, okay. Curry, my curry, kale, peppers, it's yellow peppers, curry, and onions, okay? This is my little slurshy that I made up, which is just um, all-purpose flour and water. This is what I'm going to use to kind of thicken it, um, the sauce, once it gets done cooking. I'm gonna cook this first and then I'm gonna pour this and then we're gonna cook this down until it gets finished. Let's move y'all over here to see the chops. <sighs> Let's hope I don't burn my thumb up. Ooh. Let's hope I don't burn my hair up first of all. All right, can y'all see them chops? Ooh. Can y'all see them? Ooh. Lord, I'm popping myself. Y'all see those? All right. We'll be right back. All right now, now that we back, this tripod's a little bit more stable, so this this down just like this. Boom. Okay. Can y'all see them back there? Okay. That's hot. I'm not gonna touch that. Okay. I'm not gonna touch that with my bare hands, y'all. That shit hot, boy. All right. So I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all see? A little bit better. All right. So I just took it off the burner, right? Because. So I already got, a, I just got a tiny bit of grease in here just to coat the bottom, not that much. I just wanted to get a nice little color on it. That's all I want to do is just get a nice little color on it. I'm just, I just flipped this on so waiting to get the other side just like this. Okay, so you see this side, this side's not all that brown. Put that right back on here. This side has a little bit more brown on it. So I'm going to move this back here and I'm going to move this one over here. Because that seems like to be the hotter spot. So gonna put that like that once this gets brown on the other side i'm going to add the kale and stuff in this pot this is a one pot dish because i ain't doing dishes and i'm gonna have to clean up my uh stove because i got stuff all on my stove okay so just like that meanwhile you can make rice i think i might make rice again i don't know make the mexican rice once again this rice, kale, peppers, and onions, and some chops. So, in just a second, we'll come back. We'll see how the other side looks, and then we'll be back. All right, y'all. I just added the rice to the pot. Now we're going to add stuff to here. Now, it's going to get smoky. It's already kind of smoky because this thing is really, this cast iron is really, really hot. Got the rice over here. Ooh, sorry, got the rice over here. Boiling in the pot. Just for a sec. So, now it's time to add those. So, I did move them back to the corner back this way because now it's time to add the sauce there is still grease in here but that's going to be okay because that's going to give us some uh some flavors at the bottom because you know you got all those flavors still at the bottom of this pan kind of kind of scrape those up just for a sec it just it does kind of seem like it's getting kind of smoky but the the stove is kind of turned down so now all we're going to do is just going to add the other stuff So oh, here we go. Now this is gonna okay. So this is gonna bring a lot, a lot of water to this. That's what's gonna make the sauce. It's gonna bring a lot of water to this because one we have peppers in here. 
which has been in the freezer, so they're ready to release a lot of water. Um, onions, and then this is frozen kale, so this is going to bring a lot of water also, which is kind of pretty much thawed out now, but here we go. We're gonna let this cook just a tad bit just so the waters can come out and then I don't know if you guys can hear me over this sizzling so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get all this out we're gonna put some water in this and then we're gonna get all this out and this has water in it and all the leftover stuff that was in here and we're just gonna pour some of this in here we're just gonna pour some more not that it's already not enough because we have so much of it in here already. We're just gonna mix this up just a tad bit. Always get this shit on my shirt. Get all this extra stuff off the bowl. At this point, you wanna turn your stove down just a tad bit. And we're gonna pour this right on top. That way. Yep, it's going to do all that bubbling. Turn that on for a sec. So it cools off, yep. So, yep. See how it just simmered just that fast? Boom. So now we're going to let this sit just for a sec. We're going to let this cook just, just for a little while before we take those chops out because we want that sauce to get in there with them we want it to get in there with that sauce oh man so we just cover it bring it back up just a little bit put the top on it let it cook now the rice is now the rice is boiling. I don't know how much of that y'all saw. I really hope y'all got all that. <laughs> now the rice is over here boiling. So what we're gonna do is slide back over here. This is so mama-ish, so bougie, so wretched. I'm um, bougie. This is so wretched, so mama-ish, okay? Cause mama gotta eat. I don't even know if y'all can see this. Okay, so this is getting pretty thickened up. And it's boiling. I do add sugar to my Mexican rice because I do like that sweet taste. Just a just a tiny just the tiniest bit of sugar though. Like a tablespoon of sugar. So while that's cooking, we're gonna turn it up just so let it boil, let that steam, let that water come out. Sugar. Get you some sugar. I got a bag of sugar, so sorry if you guys can't see it, but I got a tablespoon. Tablespoon. Sugar. Two tablespoons on the side. That's not a whole tablespoon. Tablespoon sugar. And that goes back up here. Now what's going to be so good about this is the fact that this is going to make so much sauce. And we're going to thicken that right on up. So when we get ready to eat, we're going to pour that sauce right on top of everything. The rice, because it would be so good on this rice. Y'all, I'd be discovering stuff, okay? It'd be so good on this rice. It's already boiling. I can hear it. Uh, it'd be so good on this rice. It just, it's amazing. I don't even know how I discovered this. It'd just be so good. So we're going to come back when this is done boiling and we take this the chops out. All right, y'all. So the rice, done. Done rice. These, about done. Just about done. So I already took one out of the, the sauce. Get some of this kale off because we don't want that in there. We want that to cook. Everything is pretty much done. All we have to do is just thicken it up. So, this is what it looks like. I'm not going to bring it too close because, oh, maybe I can. I don't know if you guys can see. Let's see. Can you guys see? That's what it looks like. I'm going to sit this on the cutting board just for a sec while we uh, stir this up just for a quick second. 
then you got all that good flavor at the bottom of here. You're gonna start spreading this out. This is all this good sauce is in here. So what we're gonna do is create a spot in the middle. Bring this back up to a boil just real quick. I'll stir up your slush, your slush, slush, slush. Stir up your slurry. Pour right in the middle. Stir. I'm over here making a mess, y'all, and I just wiped off the stove. Get a napkin. Pick that up. So it's starting to boil again. And from now, all you're going to do is stir because you just want the sauce to get a little thick. So everything is pretty much finished. Everything is finished. All we're doing is just thickening up this sauce. And then we're going to plate this bad boy. Plate this bad boy. Plate this bad boy. So pretty much I'm just going to let this sit. Just for a sec. You guys keep an eye on that. Just for a sec while we grab a cup. While we grab a plate. Okay. Yeah, that sauce has got just where we... I'm over here making a damn mess. This sauce got just where we wanted it to get. Not too watery, not too, you know, not too thick, not too watery. I get this stuff off my stove for it. Stay my stove, honey. Now that this has gotten all thick and nice, we can turn that off. And now what we're going to do. All right, y'all. We back. Now it's time for the final plate, y'all.
And there you have it.